Have you ever been bored on the weekend and thought to yourself, I want to go on a treasure hunt? Well, now you can. Follow me. So there's an app called Geocaching, where anyone can hide things anywhere in the world. So you can hide them in like a neighborhood, or you can hide them in parks. Then their location gets tagged, and you can use your phone, and there's an app called Geocaching, that you can download for free, and you use your phone, and it guides you to the location. It shows you a direct path, and then, when you get there, it'll give you a hint to find it. It can be a big item, like this big, or it can be really small. And it'll be hard to find, but there'll be some hints to let you know where to look. Not a geocache. When you find a geocache, and you get the container, it typically has all kinds of knickknacks in it, like little things, little action figures, people leave behind as like a memento. And they say that you can take one and leave one. Typically there isn't anything like treasure or money, but usually there also is a log book and you write down when you were there and when you found it. Also, in the app, it also shows that um, when it was last found. So you can know if it was found like a day or so ago that it's still there and no one moved it. After you find it, you're just supposed to put it back where you left it so other people can find it as well. There are also puzzle caches, mystery caches, and unknown caches that require you to solve a puzzle in order to find the correct coordinates to find the cache or to unlock what's inside a cache. Now that we know what a geocache is, let's go do a sample one and find one. So first we're going to open the app, and then we're going to pick one I've done already, and then we're going to click it and navigate. And then it's going to show us where to go. Point one miles to go. So now we've gotten close enough that it's now switched to feet rather than 0.1 miles. So we're about 460 feet away. Now we're getting too far away from it. So I think it was back there. So I feel like it might be in this log somewhere. So gonna do before we go trampling around in like the tick infested stuff is let's go check if there's a hint. So let's go to the description first. So it says a plastic ammo can hidden just off the trail in Trailview State Park. The cache includes a number of geocaching trade items that I've accumulated since I began caching in 2006. It also includes a $10 Dunkin' Donuts gift card as a first to find prize. Then it talks a little bit about the state park and uh, things like that. But where's the hint? Hint. Behind Large Fallen. It doesn't even say Large Fallen what. But I'm going to guess and say it's this over here. So let's take a look. It was last found about a month ago. It says official geocache GC1CCDT NYS geocache permit number do not remove. It's inside, besides some bugs. Let's see. It talks about like you found the geocache says if you're a random person who found it by accident and then someone is actually looking for it and there's a little instruction. Then there's a log book where you can write down your name and looks like they replaced it in 2021. And let's open it for a second. There's a, there's a pen inside too to write down your name. And Looks like you can see what other people wrote. They left some messages. All right, so that's your first geocache experience. I hope you liked the video and hope you get out exploring yourself. And maybe there's something bigger coming that I have planned.
that might involve a real treasure. But stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Let's go put it back.